the three stage nested design whether you are a student a researcher or just a curious mind stick around as we break it down for you step by step let's get started this is the example for today's session a survey was conducted on paddy yield of two districts within each district Three villages were randomly selected and within each village four farmers were randomly selected and their standardized yields were recorded. So what we are going to do is here first one is build an OR table and perform hypothesis testing of test and t test. I have drawn structures for three stage nested design. So our stage 1 is district, stage 2 is villagers, stage 3 is farmer. This is the data for today's question. So our first step is building this data that can suitable for our calculation. If you can build your data like this, it's easy to do our calculation. So what I did was made four columns and named it district, village, farmer and yield. So district 1 contained three district and village 1 contained four farmer, village 2 contained four farmers, village 3 also contained four farmer like this. This is easy to calculate our question. So our A is simple A is number of district. So our A is equal to what? 2 because we have 2 district. B equal to number of villages. So our B equal to 3 because we have 3 villages within each district. And our simple C is number of farmers. So we have 4 farmers. So C equal 4. This is the ANOVA table that we are going to build. So there are 5 columns in the ANOVA table. The first one is source of variation, the second is degree of freedom, the third one is sum of squares, the fourth one is mean square, the last one is f value. So in here, our A is the district and our BA is the error term for factor A, CBA is the error term for factor B. So our factor B is village. First, let's find the sum of square values. This is the formula for the sum of squares of A. So here, yi double dot is the sum of all yield value in district. yi triple dot is the sum of all yield values. And we already know the A, B and C values. Then do the calculation. So in here, 281 is the sum of all yield values in district 1. 374 is the sum of all yield values in district 2. And 655 is the sum of all yield values. After doing all calculation, we got 360.38 as our sum of square of A. Let's find sum of square of BA. So this is the formula for sum of square of BA. In here, we already know why I double dot square divided by BZ is 18,236.42. Therefore, in here, we just need to find summation of yij dot square divided by c. So, yij dot is sum of all yield value in village. In here, 88 is the sum of all yield value in village 1, district 1. 96 is the sum of all yield value in village 2, district 1. 97 is the sum of all yield value in district 3, sorry, village 3, district 1. 106 is the sum of all yield value in village 1, district 2. 124 is the sum of all yield value in village 2, district 2. 144 is the sum of all yield value in village 3, district 2. After doing all the calculation, we got 192.83 as our sum of square of BA. Let's find sum of square of CBA. So this is the formula for sum of square of CBA. So in here, yijk 
is the yield value. So it like 20, 22, 22, 24, 23, 24, like. So after resolving this uh, formula, finally we got 59.75 as sum of square of CBA. Finally, we have to find sum of square for total. So this is the formula for sum of square total. We already know summation of y i j k square is 18,489 and we already know our y triple dot square divided by a b c equal to 17,876.04. So we finally got uh, 612.96 as sum of square total. There is another way to calculate sum of square total. Uh, we can uh, sum up all the sum of square A and sum of square B A and sum of square C B A. After sum up all the sum of square value also we got 612.96 as sum of square total. Let's move on to build another table. First we have to find degree of freedom for A and B A and C B A and total. So degree of freedom A uh, can find uh, by A minus 1 and degree of freedom B A is B minus 1 multiplied by A and degree of freedom C B A is C minus 1 multiplied by A B and degree of freedom total is A B Z minus 1. After calculating uh, degree of freedom we can find mean sum of square values. So how we can find mean sum of square value for A? What you have to do is first get the sum of square A and divide it by degree of freedom A. So mean sum of square B A equal to sum of square B A divided by degree of freedom B. Mean sum of square C B A equal to sum of square C B A divide by degree of freedom c. Finally, we have to calculate f value. So, f value for a equal to mean sum of square a divide by mean sum of square b a. And f value for b a equal to mean sum of square b a divide by mean sum of square c b a. By calculating all these values, we can get proper ANOVA table. This is our ANOVA table. Let's find our difference is significant or not using F table. In here, you can see screenshot of F distribution table. In here, our numerator degree of freedom is 1 because our sum degree of freedom for A is 1 and denominator degree of freedom is 4 because our degree of freedom B equal to 4. So we got F value uh, equal 7.7086. So that value is larger than our calculated value. Therefore, we have to accept our null hypothesis. Therefore, there is no significant difference. Let's move on to our second F value. So in this case, our numerator degree of freedom is 4 because our degree of freedom B equal 4 and our denominator degree of freedom uh, equal to 18 because our degree of freedom C equal to 18. So finally, we got 2.9277 as our f table value so in here our f calculated value is larger than f table value therefore we have to reject h naught that means we have to accept our alternative hypothesis h1 therefore there is significant difference if you want to compare village 2 and 3 within district 2 you have to use t test Let's see how to use t-test for comparing village 2 and 3 within district 2. So this is the formula for calculate t-value. In here y-22 dot is mean value of yield in village 2 district 2 and y-23 dot 
equal to mean value of alt yield in village 3 district 2 so we got y dash 2 2 dot equal 31 y dash 2 3 dot equal 36 and we already know mean sum of square of cba and we already know the c value let's do the calculation after doing the calculation, we got our t value equal 3.88. So in here, you can see a screenshot of t table and our alpha is 0 0.05 and our degree of freedom is 18 because uh, our degree of freedom CBA equal to 18. So we got 2.101 as t table value. So in this case, our t calculated value is greater than t table value. Therefore, we have to reject h naught. We have to reject null hypothesis. Therefore, there is a significant difference between the villages of district 2.